Officially the first day of school. We just did a little bit of like a 15 minute orientation and then our first official class starts in 10 minutes. Gonna get some coffee before. It's like bringing me back to my international school days because it's like a smaller group and you know people from all over the place. So I feel like I'm like going to like a British international school. I did quite a few of those when I was like living in Dubai. Even in Turkey I went to like an international school. And also it's giving me very freshman year vibes. I feel like I'm like 18 trying to figure it all out again. Oh you know, the old days three years ago. <laughs> Oh, hi guys. So today's the first day of our four day weekend. We have a four day weekend every single week, which is amazing because it gives us all the time to explore. Basically have more free time than we do school. Yesterday was Wednesday, was our last day of school of the week, and today's Thursday, so today we get to explore, we get to do fun things. My roommates and I, we're gonna go to the market. My friend Phoenix is gonna meet up with us. If you guys remember Phoenix from like really old vlogs back in the day, like from LA. She's like my one friend that I knew in LA that lives here now, so that's really good. It's been really helpful. We wanna go to the farmer's market, and then we have a Mary Poppins musical to see today. We're doing very like British things. Like, like touristy things I feel like like we want to get tea today but yeah we have to get all of those things out of the way so that we can start acting like locals I feel like and I decided to bring you guys along so you will see here's my OTD I'm wearing this like matching flowy PJ set looking thing I'm wearing one of my roommates black leather jacket that she said she thrifted for $12 and it's a look and then my little Louis Vuitton and then the docks that I just got <laughs> Hi guys, so we're at the farmer mar farmer's market. We're at the Bloomsbury <laughs> Farmer's Market. Horrible. Wait, she said horrible and not bad. I don't know what that means. There's basically like a bunch of like street food. We're getting food. This is the first meal of the day. We're jumping straight in. I'm getting a burger, a vegan burger. This is what it looks like. This is Megan. My roommate, Hi. and that's Phoenix. <laughs> this is like set up right next to the college, university college, UCL, what is that? Yeah. So basically it's a bunch of students here all getting food. So it's fun, it's like a fun college environment. I got a vegan kebab. Sure. <laughs> in kind of like the Rodeo Drive of London, I guess. We're going in this gallery right now to see Andy Warhol exhibition. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is money. It's all different kind. We're at this restaurant, it's a tea house called Sketch. It's like popular, kind of mainstream here in London, but also like super hard to get a reservation. So Jesse is talking to them to see if we can maybe walk in and have a table for us. But it's like that true like tea experience. They're full. They had no space for us. It's really expensive. It's like 60 pounds, which is around like $85 for tea. But the tea comes with like obviously the tea and then the sandwiches and all that stuff but still it's like pricey so we would rather just make an experience out of it can't wait for Christmas time this is Oxford right no this is Regent Street oh oh my god please don't <laughs> don't hit us don't hit us <laughs> Carnaby Street Why is it good? It's not bad. Try more. 
Nigel. We're in the Great Britain, honey. The you beer. Drink a day. Hi, guys. Good day, everyone. Good day, everyone. Hello, darling. We are on our way to the Mary Poppins show now. We're very excited. Megan is a big fan. So excited. She knows all the songs. I know like two. Probably. I know all of them. You're just gonna have to sing them and I'm I gonna will. move my lips. This is my first official like musical thing in London and I'm planning on doing quite a few while I'm here. So yeah, I will let you know how it goes. <laughs> How are you doing? Today is Friday, so it's officially been one week since I've been in London. Like, I literally landed at this time exactly a week ago. And that's fun. This is everything that the week has brought on so far. Last night, I stayed over at my friend Phoenix's, so I'm at her apartment right now. And today, we are going to go get breakfast. I've been, like, getting so many recommendations of things to do on TikTok, because I'm on London TikTok right now. I'm very specifically on, like, people who recently moved to London slash London recommendations TikTok. So it's honestly been really helpful. Every time I see a TikTok, I like take note of it in my notes, which you should do this if you move somewhere for the first time, because when you just save it, you just forget. And it's just, it's just so much more organized having a notes app and like it's satisfying, like taking things off. And we're gonna go to this breakfast place that I found on there. It's called Sundays in Brooklyn or something like that. We're gonna have some breakfast there. And then later tonight, we're going to a party slash club like i don't really know it's gonna be my first time out out in london like i've just gone to like pubs so far and that's about it so i'm gonna get a glimpse into the nightlife see what that's all about phoenix actually has cutie patootie look at that face look at that face she has the cutest little frenchies this one's yoshi she's a beautiful girl this is yoda he's a chonky like muscular guy and they're actually dating you guys they're literally dating they're gonna have babies soon are you guys gonna have babies soon that are gonna look so cute they just want to come up to you and just are you exploiting my children <laughs> she goes are you exploiting my children thumbs up for frenchies um, I'm not really wearing the most awesome of brunch outfits, to be honest. This is just what I wore to get here last night at like 11 at night. Didn't really think we were gonna do breakfast plans, so it'll just have to do. Oh, sneak peek. This is unreleased Illy Baby. Make sure you follow us for updates on new releases. Look at the cute little streets, guys. I don't think I'll ever get over it. Look at them. So there was no space to put my shit in the room. So I literally just built this entire thing on my own, you guys. I bought it on Amazon. It took me like an hour. I'm very proud of myself. I feel very accomplished. I don't have clothes to put in it yet because I need to ship my suitcases over still. Like I came here only with like half a suitcase of clothes because all my winter stuff's in Turkey. But once my stuff gets here, this is where I'm gonna store it. It's kind of huge, low key. Tucked away in that corner of our room. <laughs> Sugar plum. Today we're doing something very culturally rich. We are going to the Shakespeare, Shakespeare's Globe. <laughs> Do you know what we're seeing? No, what are we seeing? Twelfth Night, the infamous Shakespeare play. It's a standing sand pit. Shows weren't the way that they are now where you go and sit. Like it was a standing experience. They low-key kept the experience as close as possible to how it was like in the old times. We've been on double decade before. No, I still haven't been on one. Wow. I know, I need to go on one. It's a school thing, so the school actually organized everything, but today's Thursday, so we don't have school. But yeah, I just love my school so much. I even spend time with them during my weekends. was the only 
cliff that I could get there because they were very strict. Like literally the minute I pulled my phone out to take a picture, the lady was like, there's no any types of photography al allowed here. Also, just to reiterate on what I previously said, it's a replica of what it used to look like, but it's not like the original. Honestly, we were there for like, what, 40 minutes? I'm not like 45 minutes. Even though the experience was good, we had standing tickets and realistically, like I'm not gonna stand. I I physically can't stand for three hours. Yeah, someone watch almost it. passed out. Yeah, this girl almost passed out. Like she went outside and she was like, "Can I, can I have some water?" Like they're probably like, "You want to go back inside and stand up?" Yeah, literally. They're probably like, "No, you still have to stand, even though you almost passed out." Thank you.